Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, a double whammy today. We are going to do a Lush haul, um, followed by my review, my last review, my soap review that was just on a Lush soap, right? So, um, we have a lot of Lush stuff going on and you guys know I have a lot of soaps that I have reviewed um, in the past few months. Um, normally I will go to the Marshalls Rack, TJ Maxx, anywhere and just kind of bulk buy soaps, try them, move on. Um, but with Lush, it is, it, it's been really difficult to kind of like move on because they just have so many things in their inventory, guys. That is so fun. I love their shapes. I love their concept. I love the fact that their stuff is handmade and healthy. So it's been a kind of an uphill battle trying to like go back to like trying other soaps granted i have other soaps and i definitely will try other soaps um you know but i'm loving lush right now okay i'm loving lush right now so i got bags okay bags of stuff from lush okay and um <laughs> that was crazy um, some things I've already used, um, I will say that, um, I try to take a bath once a week and I have bath oils, bath bombs, bar soaps, bubble bars also in here. So, uh, and lip scrub. So a medley of just different things to show you guys today. So this should be a fun haul, but I will be also probably showing you items that I've already used so if that makes anyone feel some type of way I'm sorry about that um but anyway let's proceed with the haul because I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this I can already foresee it okay so let's 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 do this I actually used the rest of my rose jam last night if you guys are not familiar with rose jam or familiar with lush it is a it's like a bubble rune a bubble rune because it's made to look like a macaroon um, but bubble bar and um, I just had the last piece of it last night which was awesome I always enjoy using rose jam but because I can't show it to you in this video I don't want to talk about it too much I would recommend it though if you're getting into that type of stuff into that type of thing and um, guys I'm just going through it right now okay I also forgot that I have quite the bit of samples that I haven't tried any of these samples um, anyways so in this bag I'm just gonna go with the first thing that I can get my hands on because it's a lot of stuff, okay? I have, oh, the Sleepy Soap. Um, so the Sleepy Soap by Lush looks like this, okay? It is literally a cloud and it's like a lavender soap and it's one of their newest soaps that mm, just dropped um, not too long ago, and my back is kind of eaten out a little bit. I don't know how that happened because um, probably through transporting, which also if you guys are buying Lush soaps, please keep in mind that you don't want to leave them in hot cars on the way to the house or like if you want to stop and get bubble tea, don't leave your soap in the car, girl, because it will melt. It That has happened to me before. Um, like my Rose Gem like bubble bar like it it didn't like melt all the way but it was like getting ready to like when I took it home I saw it and I was just like I just paid for that you know what I'm saying so I definitely don't think this happened like in my room because my room is like pretty good temperature at all times but that's what that looks like is the lavender soap uh sleepy soap by them and I haven't used it yet, obviously it's a brand new bar of soap, but I'm excited to try it. And I'm not a really big fan of lavender soaps, um, but I just thought that little cloud was so cute and I love their designs. I think they're just so innovative and they just like make you want to take a shower or like take a bath, you know? So the next thing I have in this haul, and I really don't know if I'm going to do like a list, like a bottom list, like down here, because oh, 
it's like so annoying to like write everything out and I feel like the older I get the more I'm just like leave it to the description box you know but we'll see um next thing in this haul though is going to be the bright side bar sunny side bar I think it's sunny side sunny side or bright side I'm not sure but it's like this gold bar which I have cut a little piece of it already okay and um it's really glittery um it gives you like a very glittery um bath because it's for the bath and you can cut it up in several pieces um beautiful for the skin um smells really good and I would love to talk about it, review it for you guys. Um, I don't know if that will be anytime soon, um, simply because I've already used that. So obviously I don't have any footage of it, you know, before use. But I'll buy it again because <laughs> um, I actually really like it. And uh, that's one of the things that I've used. Um, so the next thing in this haul for you guys is going to be the sexy peel soap which is in this little container and box thing because I haven't opened it yet but I've actually used the sexy peel soap it is one of my favorite soaps by Lush I love the sexy peel soap so I just had to get some and this is ten dollars worth ten seventy six and I'm just looking at it because like I feel like I don't know how this paper became so like encrusted but anyway, this is like $10 worth of Sexy Peel Soap. I love that soap so much, okay? I love it so much. Okay, so the next things... I guess let's talk about these bath oils because I have the bath oils in this little compartment thing that you can actually get from Lush and I think that it's so convenient and I love that it's like eco-friendly with like the cardboard you know and um or not cardboard but I don't even really know what to call it so we're just gonna say cardboard I have three bath oils two of them I've already used and one of them is fairly new in here and I would like to get another thing of these. Uh, thank God you can switch it out and that's free. Uh -huh. But this bath oil is Happy Thoughts. It's an orange, Brazilian orange oil. I believe is also infused in this bath oil. I've cut a little bit of it off. And I've mixed this with the bright side, sunny side uh, bubble bar. Because I just don't know. Like off the top of my head. I've mixed those two together for that brightening bath beautiful bath um the next bath oil i have is the polyamorous one which i wish it was full because it's actually so cute and pretty when it's full because it's a heart and it has like hearts in it like open hearts and pink hearts in it and polyamorous is kind of like a moisturizing um bath oil a lot of their bath oils have uh, just extra moisture content um, so that one has shea and it's just very polyamorous, you know, very, very, very warm and cozy. And I just love polyamorous. It's, it's classic. And I tried double vitality, which is new. Um, and I love the star. Like, I love the fact that it's like a cute little pink star. So pretty, right? I haven't cut this one open at all. I'm like getting soaps and oils and stuff on my hands, but I love it. I love it. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of like a bubble gummy scent, and it just looks so pretty. Like if you're like a poppin' pink girl, love it. Okay. So those are my bath oils. Those are all the bath oils that I have, and so glad I got to show you guys Double Vitality because I was getting ready to use that last night but I was like <sighs> I mixed the rose jam bath with a with a little bit of the polyamorous so I cut a little bit more of it into my bath last night that was such a like nice bath and I usually will mix polyamorous and rose jam together pretty consistently 
So that's a combination right there if you guys were interested. Um, a couple samples that just came out of that bag that I have. I have a sample of the Argan Dragon Shower Oil. And um, I'm not sure. It says shower oil. So I don't think that this is for the bath. But the Dragon, the Argan Dragon is fairly new for them. It's a new product for them. I'm not too familiar with it, but... I have the sample to try, right? Um, next soap is, next sample I have is a Lavender Vita Loca, which is just a, a sample. Um, the Lavender Vita Loca, if you've ever seen the Maple Soap by Lush, it kind of is the same design, but the Lavender Vita Loca is slightly different. I've never tried it before. I'm not really a fan of the scent of it, but we can see how that goes, okay? Um... All these samples, I'm not. I'm gonna have soap for days, right? Um, they also gave me a sample of Outback Mate, which is that really nice ocean blue, super super blue soap. Obviously has dye in it. Um, you know, which by the way, if you go on the website Lush, um, I believe it's Lush USA, you can see all the ingredients, and you can also individually click on the ingredients, and it will tell you what it's for, why it's in there, etc. Um, so I have a sample of Outback Mate. I've never used Outback Mate before, but I see it all the time. It's like a popular soap for them. I mean, it looks really cool, and I actually really love the way that it looks. It looks like an ocean. I mean, it's it's nice. I mean, okay, so we have a whole nother bag to get through, okay? So next product is going to be a bath bomb. And I'm just not getting into baths, you guys, because I, you guys know, like, I'm big on bar soap, but, like, now I'm, like, getting into baths and stuff like that, which is going to be so much fun, because baths are fun, and a nice bath can really change your life, okay? So, uh, this bath bomb is going to be the Sex Bomb by Lush, and classic bath bomb, everybody knows the Sex Bomb, but... I haven't used it yet and it has just like a pearl flower on the inner center it's pink and purple really pretty looking dainty it smells really nice and I can tell you right now that this is gonna be a fun bath um, it's made with jasmine and the def the description is like it's an aphrodisiac um, I guess it's like a mood setter and it's supposed to put you in that mood, set you in that mood, um, you know, like the sexy mood. Um, and I try every single time not to, like, fuck it up. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I really want to try that bath bomb. And the next thing that I have to review... I have I actually bought two of their new soaps this season that just came out also but I want to save those for last because those are really fun soaps that we can talk about a little bit later um, let's get these bath bombs out of the way I have one more bath bomb to show you guys and that is going to be intergalactic uh, which is also a classic okay for them and this one kind of has several different colors in it really pretty and I always try to get the fattest slab of soap the fattest bath bomb when I go there because I don't play that shit I don't play that skimp shit okay I'm spending my money I need the best bar of soap in here right so um intergalactic is super pretty um it it like goes in the shower like a dark twilight um sparkle glitter kind of like space and um, I've only seen it in videos this too I've never used before so I am excited to use this and I'm gonna be like you know recording it like how I do soap scenes I want to also give you guys like bath bomb scenes the bubble room scenes um, I'll figure out how to get that done for you guys definitely because you know um, these things are like one-time showers uh, no baths get me clean um okay so anyways I got a couple of lip scrubs 
which I love the Lush Lip Scrubs, and I've been using the Lush Lip Scrubs for a really long time now. Um, one of my favorite lip scrubs from them, which is a seasonal lip scrub, is going to be the Carrot Cake Lip Scrub. Carrot Cake taste so... First of all, first of all, I like Carrot Cake, period. I like cake, period, but I love Carrot Cake, right? So when I saw Carrot Cake, I was like, honey... You don't even have to sell me on this. Just put it in the bag, right? Um, I'm also into like pumpkin spice um, candles and all that jazz and stuff like that. So carrot cake, beautiful lip scrub. It's sold out now. I can't find it anywhere. Um, and wherever it's at, it's literally just that batch and they're going to be done. It's never come to Lush as a permanent lip scrub. I don't know why because it's so great. The first lip scrub I've ever tried for them was Bubblegum. And I liked Bubblegum. It worked awesome. That's what really got me into their lip scrubs. And then I saw this. Got like three jars. And this is my last one. And I have one that's also already in the bath. And then this one is my last one. And it's a new one. And um, I also bought their Cookie Dough Lip Scrub. Which is a permanent lip scrub for them. Hey. And um, Cookie Dough smells so good. It smells like, you know, cookie dough. And um, this is like so cool, right? So I got cookie dough. I got carrot cake lip scrub. Um, you know, I like to get done my lip scrub completely before opening new lip scrubs. I don't like to, even if I have two different ones, I don't like alternate them because I don't know. I just don't like doing that type of stuff. Um, but anyways, the last two soaps that I have in this haul, I think are the most funnest because they're the newest soaps, right? So, um, I got Poppy and I also got Michelle Mabel, which is, um, two new soaps that just dropped out of the three new bar soaps that just dropped. I think Poppy came back though, because I could have swore, I think I saw something like this before, but, um, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like that. And it has poppy seeds in it, which is that red portion and that white milky part. I don't know what that is. But it kind of looks like an open fruit with like seeds and stuff that are really big. I, I love the design. I think it's so like innovative and like unique and stuff. And that's like what I'm shopping for with Lush, which is why I can't stop shopping at Lush because their stuff is, just looks so cool to me. But, um, that's what that looks like and when I looked online because I do look online and stock their shit yes I do um I already knew that I wanted to buy Poppy because it just looks so cool to me like I wanted to buy it and like I went there with my friend and like we both bought it together like we were like this one we get in this together bitch we get in this we doing this together okay so there is Poppy let me put that back in the bag. Michelle Mabel. Oh, ow. Is, um, this soap is kind of like messy and glittery. I doubt that, like, it looks, first of all, this soap smells like caramel and like honey and like, it smells like a Starbucks frap. <sighs> it smells so good. Like, I think it's made with like caramel or something. Like some type of something like that. So I really wanted to get it. Um, like, because it just smells so good. And I really like the ingredients. And it has like these really sparkly, ridgy sparkles. I think that will definitely come off in the bath. But like, that's what it looks like. I hope you like, see it really well. And so I got Michelle Mabel. And the last bar of soap, okay, so I was saying that, because I don't know where my camera stopped, but I was saying that uh, there is three new soaps that dropped, and the citrus one, I didn't purchase it because with citrus soaps, I really like what they do for my skin, but I kind of already like knew what to expect, so I wanted to challenge myself and try some soaps to where like I really wouldn't know like what they would do. Um, 
but anyway that is my haul i hope that it was fun for you guys i know that there was like a lot of different things um in here but um these are all products i'm using like slowly 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 and also i just want to do soap hauls in general because even if it's not from lush like sometimes i just go and get a whole bunch of soaps um so that would be cool instead of just always having to show you soaps like when i review them and stuff um but anyways um the list i will leave down below in the description box so then you guys can see the names the proper names of all these things just in case i chopped something up or didn't get something right and if you guys have any questions about anything that i did say i already used like some of the bath oils or bubble bars i will answer those questions even though i don't have any individual reviews for bath oils i don't think i will ever really review because bath oils are so small and they have very minimal effects they do have an effect but their effect is so minimal that i don't think that bath oils need individual videos um but if i ever add a bath oil into my bath i will tell you what i added why i added it what it did um but that will be me talking about like a bath bar or bubble bar or something like that with an oil added i'll never make like an individual because they're just they're just so tiny and there's just not really much to say about them um you know so that's that this will probably be the only time that you ever see that i have bath oils like that in the halls um but anyway anyways anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next video